Hi, my name is Lauren Henry. I'm a Nigerian fashion designer, a pattern maker, and a fashion tutor. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draft the basic sleeve look. Now, since the video where I drafted the basic bodies block went out, it has done so well. A lot of you have found me through that video, and I'm so grateful for how you know it has done so far. All of the positive feedback, it's been it's been amazing. Thank you so much to all of you. Only you could have made it possible, and I'm so glad that you found it helpful. But then, one of the constant, you know, the frequently asked questions I keep getting is, "Please can you do a follow-up video showing how you draft the basic sleeve block for these bodies?" You know, and I've been getting that over and over again. But the truth is, that video already exists, but it is as a course. So I put out a course earlier in the year where I teach how to draft all the basic blocks. But then because I've been getting these questions over and over again, I said, I know I'm just going to give you for free. I'm going to show you all how to draft the basic sleep block. And this is this video. This is for every single one of you who has asked me about this. Now, the measurements you need when drafting the basic sleeves are pretty simple. They're not too many. The first measurement you need is a bicep or upper arm measurement. It's basically measured around the fullest part of your arm. So just around the fullest part of the arm is where you measure. And when you're measuring, please add a bit of ease because you need it to be able to be free enough. You don't want your, your sleeve to end up being too tight. So please make sure you add a bit of ease to that when you're measuring. The next measurement you're going to need is the wrist measurement. The only time you really use the measurement of your wrist is when you're working on fabrics that are stretchy or you have a cuff, maybe like a shirt. Maybe you have a zip happening there, which you see in a lot of bridal wear. This is the only time that you that you can use the actual wrist measurement. If you don't have any of these that I mentioned, then you need to measure around the fist because when you're going into your sleeve, this is the part, this is the fullest part when you're going into your sleeve. So you need to be able to have, make enough room for that by using this measurement. So that is the, um, we call it the fist measurement. So you measure around the fist and that is what we'll be using to draft the basic sleeve block. And the measurement of that that, that we'll need will be the outside sleeve length. It's basically the sleeve length, but then you need to place your arm akimbo. Then you measure from the shoulder bone all across to the wrist and the final measurement we're going to need is the elbow length same way you place your, your arm akimbo and measure from the shoulder bone down to where the elbow is now these are the measurements that we need in drafting the basic sleeve block it's pretty easy trust me it doesn't have as many steps as the basic for this block so now let's get into it Now these are the tools we need. First you need a meter ruler, a long ruler basically, then a pattern master, of course this is important for every pattern you'd ever make. And then of course an armhole curve because we're working on a sleeve and then it has the right curves for that. Yes, yeah, so then we also need a pair of paper scissors and a tracing wheel to just trace out what we've drafted, then a measuring tape, important also. And then in my case, a marker for you in pencil or whatever you use to draft. And finally, you also need pattern making paper, just paper, you know, to draft the pattern. That's it for the tools we need. Now let's get started. So to be able to draft a sleeve block, you need to have already created a bodice block that the sleeve would fit into. So you have to create a bodice block first before you can then move into the sleeve block and then you use the armhole measurement of the bodice block to then create the sleeve block. So now we're going to measure this armhole from the front and then from the back to get you know the measurement of that. So using a measuring tape or a flexible ruler you can then measure the armhole measurements of the front and then of the back. So you carefully measure following the curved line so you're just going to be placing your tape you know follow the line gently one step at a time until you get to the underarm point which is where the side seam is so i'm done measuring for the back i got 21 cm and i'm measuring the front now just following the curve making sure that i am not losing measurements or adding you know to it so my tape is barely moving it's just following the curve So now the measurement of my front armhole is 20.5 cm. So I had 21 cm for the back and then 20.5 cm.
for the front now this measurement is what we're going to use to go ahead and make our sleeve block now to start drafting we're going to need to create the border borderline which will happen from that left edge of my paper so basically i'm going to measure 5 cm from the top of the paper you know inwards just to create a line there that we could that we can start drafting from have drawn the line i'm just going to measure the width of that line and find the midpoint now the midpoint of this line is where zero would be meaning that's where we're going to start drafting from so you just find the midpoint of that line and label zero so now that we have zero our next point would be zero to one zero to one is the armhole measurements divided by three minus one cm so the armhole measurement here is basically the sum of the back and front armhole measurements we got from the bodies divided by 3 minus 1 and after doing my math it was 41.5 divided by 3 13.8 and minus 1 12.8 so i'm going to square down from 0 by 12.8 cm so i'm squaring down from 0 by 12.8 cm of course you're going to do your math based on your own armhole measurement and after getting that i would then square out on both sides but of course you also need to label that your point one so i'm squaring out on both sides and this line would actually be my bicep line the next point is zero to two zero to two is the back armhole measurement so it's the measurements that we got for the back armhole 21 cm you're basically going to measure from zero until it touches line one so it's going to be a slanted line so you place your ruler from zero and then wherever the 21 cm or your back armhole measurements meets that line that is where you're going to stop and then you will draw the line so that's where my 21 cn stops and i'm going to draw the line now and label that point two the next point is zero to three is the same thing as zero to two but this is now on the front armhole measurement you measure from zero until it touches line one so my front armhole measurement was 20.5 cm i'm just going to place that from zero until that 20.5 meets line one I will mark the point and then draw the line and of course label that point three so two to three is the bicep measurement so you see how the ammo measurements basically derived our bicep measurement for us um, the distance between two to three would turn out to be your bicep measurement so the idea is whatever you measured meaning your actual bicep measurement you just use you just confirm it on this line to be sure that it fits but most times in the feature you might need to add a bit or take out a bit but most times it gives you something almost accurate so now to get point four we need to measure that line and find the midpoint point four is the midpoint between two and three so you measure it and find the midpoint and you label that point four and now i must say that the position of your point four really doesn't matter it can happen before or after point one it all depends on the distance between your point two and three after getting point four the next point is four to five four to five is the difference between the sleeve length and the cap height so the sleeve length minus the cap height now the cap height is uh the measurement of zero to one the distance between zero to one and remember that from our calculation before zero to one was 12.8 cm and then the sleeve length based on the measurement is 62 cm so that will be 62 minus 12.8 and i will have 49.2 so i'm going to square down a line now from point four and the length of that line is supposed to be 49.2 cm so what i'm going to do now is just to square down a line and then i'm going to measure 49.2 on that line so of course you know that um your own measurement will be based on what you would use here will be based on the measurement of your sleeve length and then of course of your cap height so i'm just squaring down now and then i would then measure
distance between 4 to 5 which is 49.2 cm so this is where my 49.2 stops i'm going to that 0.5 and then square out a horizontal line on both sides so this line is going to be my wrist line that is the wrist line basically the end of the sleeve and that is 0.5 now the next point is 5 to 6. 5 to 6 is the wrist measurement divided by 2. So my wrist measurement is 26 cm and 26 divided by 2 will be 13. So I'm going to measure 13 cm from 0.5 to the right. That will be my point 6. Label that point 6. And then the next point is 5 to 7. 5 to 7 is basically the other 13. So it is um, 13 cm from 0.5 to the left. And that will be 0.7. Now the next thing we need to do is to connect 0.2 to 7 and 0.3 to 6 with straight lines. Now that we've created the sleeve outline, the next thing we need to do is to divide 0 to 2 into 4 places. Now, remember the measurement of 0 to 2 was 21 cm. That was our back armhole measurement. So we divide 21 by 4 and I think I got 5.2 cm. So we're going to measure 5.2 cm in 3 places. I'll measure 5.2 cm in 3 places. And these points would then be used to draft the sleeve head so this is it for the back and i'm going to repeat the same thing for the front now my front measurement was 20.5 cm you divide that by four and i believe i have 5.1 cm so i'm going to measure 5.1 in three places two and that would be me dividing it into four so i'm going to mark the 5.1 in three places and just like the back, this point to be used to create the curve of the sleeve head. Now we need to label accordingly. This is point 0.8, point 0.9. We have 10 up there, 11 there, 12 and 13. Please take note of the labels. It's very important in curving. In creating the curve so now at point eight we're going to hollow or go down by one cm so from that line that we have we'll go down by one cm please just take note of how i am marking these things you're just going to repeat the same thing for yours so at point eight you'll go down you hollow by one cm at point nine you will raise that point by 0 0.5 cm 0 0.5 cm and at point 10 you raise by 1.5 cm and these are standards these will help us get the curves at point 11 you will hollow by 1.5 when you're going in by 1.5 cm at point 12 you're going to raise by 0 0.5 cm and then at point 13 you raise by 2 cm so these are guides on how to create the curve of the speed head now i'm going to show you how to create these curves using the armhole curve take note of the placement because this would help you in getting the accurate curves so we're going to start from the back please like i said notice the placement of my curves what well, the idea is we're going to connect three points at the same time so we're going to start by connecting zero 10 and 9 all at the same time like i said please take note of how i'm placing my curve you notice that i'm using that very rounded part the very curved part of the armhole curve this is how you need to place your armhole curve when drawing the sleeve head the back sleeve head so you just connect and i would have to say that you are the master of your curve so you are the one who would know how to place it to make sure that all of those points are connecting 
so you see i've gotten the 0 10 and 9 i'm going to flip this curve now to get 9 8 and 2. notice this placement too this is how you will place your curve to get the accurate curve so this is 9 8 and 2 all at once i'm going to draw the line now so there you have it this is the curve of the back sleeve head we're going to now move to the front here i'm going to connect 0 13 and 12 at the same time also notice how i'm placing it and i'm moving maneuvering my armhole curve to just get the right thing the right placement that connects all these points that i need so now i've gotten my right placement i'm going to draw the line now so i have my 0 13 and 12 at once and i'm going to draw the line now and this is the first part i'm going to flip my curve now to get 12 11 and 3. so like i said notice the placement of 12 11 and 3. i have them all at once and then i will draw the line so this is what the sleeve head looks like you can tell the difference between the front from the back and this is it now the next thing we're going to do is to get the elbow line the elbow line is basically your elbow length measurement you measure it from zero downward so mine is 34 cm i'm going to measure 34 cm from zero down i'll mark that point and then label that point 14 then you square out a horizontal line on both sides of the line and this would be the elbow line the next point here is not one that is very important you just identify it you know it's not one that you use it is a short sleeve length it's basically 10 cm under the bicep line and this is an average measurement a short sleeve is basically anything between your bicep to your elbow so you can use whatever but an average measurement is 10 cm under the bicep line and you just draw that line for styles where you want to use a short sleeve then you would use this line this would be the hem of your sleeve but yeah you just identify that line that's the short sleeve length so this is our sleeve block we're basically done all the black lines are the important lines for this sleeve so everything in black is what you're going to keep the red lines like the triangle you no longer need it's just the black lines that are necessary so the of course the front sleeve head the back sleeve head the bicep line which i'm drawing in black now because that's very important for you to have then of course the elbow length you only would um, transfer the short sleeve length when you're using a short sleeve if not you will not really need that but yeah this is what your sleeve block looks like now the last thing we will need to do is to identify how much ease we have in the sleeve in the sleeve head now every sleeve is supposed to be wider than the armhole it goes into but you need to de determine how much excess that sleeve has because if it has more than 5 cm they are going to have problems with gathers and pleats in your sleeve where you do not want that to happen so now i'm going to be using the armhole measurements that we derived from the bodies remember the front and back armhole measurements that's what i'm going to use now to measure along the curve of the sleeve head for both the front and the back and then wherever like my back armhole measurement was 21 cm so i'm basically going to measure that 21 cm from point three along the curve to where it stops on that line i'll do the same thing for the front and then determine the difference so basically the distance between those two points will tell me how much ease i have so I'm going to measure my back arm measurement, which is 21 cm now along the curve. You just follow it gently or carefully and then mark where the 21 cm stops along that curved line. So that's where my 21 stops. I would mark that and then repeat the same process for the front. My front arm measurement is 20.5 cm. So I'm going to measure that from point 0.3 along the curve this is a bit more curved so you have to be more careful not to add or you know take out from what it actually should be so um i have my 20.5 cm now i'm just going to mark that okay 
and then measure the distance between those two points now the distance between those two points would be my ease the measurement of that would be my ease and after measuring i got 3 cm so the ease in my sleeve head is 3 cm and that is just perfect remember i said the maximum ease should be 5 cm so we have 3 cm and that's perfect so now you label your block we have the bicep line the short sleeve length line which i said is not really important then we have the elbow line and finally the wrist line so these are the major lines in the sleeve and of course we have line four to five which is the center green line you also identify the front sleeve head from the back sleeve head because they are different the curves are different so you don't want to sew in your front sleeve head into your back armhole that is not acceptable so you need to notch and label each part so you can sew accordingly and always create a notch especially in the front just so that you can actually know where the front is that's important when you're drafting your sleeve but this is what the sleeve block looks like remember i told you that the black lines are the major lines so you can add your half an inch allowance around this around the curve of the sleeve head the sides you know and all of that so for the hem if you're working on a basic sleeve that looks like this then you're going to add a 4 cm allowance at the hem but the allowance at the hem really depends on the type of sleeve that you're making because using this sleeve book you can make any type of sleeve you can think of a circle sleeve a leg of mutton sleeve a raglan sleeve any and everything you can create using this sleeve block so the allowance at the hem really depends on the type of sleeve that you are making but around all around the sleeve in everywhere else you add half an inch or 1.5 cm as the allowance so that's it for the sleeve i hope you really got to learn a thing or two from it like i said in the beginning it's pretty easy and straightforward and please if you have any questions write them in the comments and i'll do well to answer and please make sure you try this test it with the bodies block that we had created and let's see how it goes and please also do well to leave feedback from that in the comments if you've not done that already please like this video share it to everybody in your fashion communities and if you haven't subscribed please 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 do the next video i'm going to do is about the women's wear jacket so please look out for that turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it when it drops and also let me know what other videos you would like you would like me to do other things you'd like me to create in fact any and everything if i don't know how to make it trust me i'm going to do my research and learn and i'll come back to let you know how it goes so please and please like this video share it to everybody in your fashion community and if you've not subscribed already i don't know why you haven't please subscribe so the train can keep moving thanks again for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye